dear students now we are going to discuss fiber optic cable optical cable is an assembly of one or more optical fibers that means it is a structure which contains more number of optical fibers with protective layers okay the fiber elements are individually coated with plastic layers and also the protective tube in the optical cable so here several layers of protective are used to form the cable okay so fiber cable is an important structure to be used in optical communication system there are several advantages of using this optical cable this cable is mainly used to protect the fibers from crush any crush and tensile stress it mainly used to increase the cable strength it provides stability for fiber transmission it protects the fiber from temperature changes wind forces or ice loading there are two basic cable structures used in optical communication one is tight buffered fiber cable loose buffered fiber cable so in this tight buffered fiber cable there are several layers of protective shield okay so here we are having this glass fiber with gliding at the center of the cable then we are having fiber coating with 250 micrometer diameter then we are having fiber buffer that is 900 micrometer diameter range so here each fiber is individually encapsulated within its own 900 micrometer diameter plastic buffer so it provides more strength to the fiber then we are having yarn strength then the last one is outer cable jacket that is nothing but pvc pipe okay so here each fiber is encapsulated with plastic buffer okay so it provides more strength to the fiber cable to protect fiber from environmental changes so this fiber cable is mainly used for indoor applications okay so next one is loose buffered fiber cable so in this method one or more coated fibers are enclosed within a larger diameter thermoplastic tube okay so this is the thermoplastic tube this tube is filled with either a gel or dry water blocking material as buffer to protect the fiber cable so it is mainly used to isolate the fiber from any stretching of the surrounding cable due to the environmental changes okay next one is fiber ribbon cable structure it is an extension of the tight buffered cable it is a long continuous ribbon arrangement of fibers that are aligned precisely to next each other so each fiber is a coated fiber to protect itself so here we can use 250 micrometer as a outer diameter we can encapsulate all this fibers using plastic so here we are using a common plastic encapsulation you all understand this one this is called as a ribbon cable structure the aligned fibers are encapsulated in a plastic buffer coating or we can say jacket okay so next based on the applications the cables can be broadly classified into two types indoor cables outdoor cables okay so examples for indoor cables are interconnect cable breakout or fan out cable distribution cable for this outdoor we can have aerial cable ormed cable underwater or submarine cable okay next applications of optical cable indoor cables are widely used for interconnecting instruments distributing the signals connections to servers or printers it is mainly used for short distance telecommunications okay outdoor cable so this outdoor cables are used for aerial duct 
direct burial and underwater applications. So underwater applications means submarine applications. We can use this outdoor cable. Okay. ITUT has given the L series recommendations for installation of optical cable in various applications. So it can be pulled into a underground intra building tracks buried directly in the ground. It can be installed on outdoor poles and trenches. It can be used in submerged underwater applications. Okay.